Hey, Lambda Stairs. What's up in the cold email hood? <laughs> So not gonna say that. Don't you hate it when you're about to send an email campaign and there is an error message because you forgot a small but important detail, like not having indicated the email address sending the campaign or having forgotten to enrich your leads. Oops. That's exactly what the campaign wizard is here for. Keep watching if you want to know how you can easily and quickly create new campaigns without having to worry about forgetting to indicate important information. Hey everyone, this is Charlotte, Digital Marketing Manager here at Lamblist, the tool that lets you create personalized outreach campaigns, build relationships with your prospects, and get more replies in the process. All right, let's get this party started. First and foremost, you click on New Campaign on the Lamblist app as per the usual. Then you will be automatically taken to the campaign wizard. Now, you could simply insert the name of your campaign, choose your favorite emoji and click on skip the campaign creator to do everything in the order you prefer, or you could let the campaign wizard work its magic. In that case, click on next. In this step, you will be asked to add your leads to your campaign, giving you a myriad of different options. CRM, manual edition, CSV upload, LinkedIn, API imports, Zapier, or even an existing campaign. Let's choose the CSV upload for this demo. Simply drag and drop your preferred file into the wizard and you will see a recap of all of your imported leads and the corresponding custom variables right here. You also have a preview of all of the variables to make sure the values will be correctly filled in for your campaign. All you have to do is hover over the little eye right here. In case you have columns in your CSV file that you don't want to import, for example, because you only use them for our internal organizational purposes, you can remove them by clicking on the little cross right here. Now you will be asked whether you want to enrich your leads. You can do this via drop contact or LinkedIn right here. Simply choose the option that you prefer. This will help you have the most recent data around your leads, so we highly recommend doing it. I'm gonna go with drop contact and I'm gonna click on next, where you will be asked if you're okay with having the leads that you already have in one campaign in the one that you're creating as well. This is a super important choice to make and will depend on your overall strategy. Just make sure that you're aware of the number of campaigns you have duplicate leads in, in order to not unnecessarily make their inboxes overflow with your campaigns. So I'm going to choose yes. Now in this step, you can choose whether you want to synchronize your CRM according to the updated leads in your Lambdas campaign. So basically to frequently update your leads actions in your CRM system with their reactions to your campaign. Open, click, responded, etc. I will choose to continue without doing so because I didn't connect my CRM for this demo right here. In the next step, you can choose the timing of your campaign, which will depend mostly on the location and working hours of your leads. So you can choose a predetermined schedule here, for example, Paris office hours, which uh, basically means uh, from 10.30 to uh, 12, and then again from uh, 14 to 16, because afterwards it's a uh, goûter and the apéro. Just kidding, Sacha, bonne sur Paris, attention. Or you can configure it yourself, choosing the days of the week, as well as the time zone and the hours of the day between which you want your campaign to be sent to your list of leads. Finally, you can choose which email address you want your campaign to be sent from. And that's it. Now all you have to worry about is creating a great campaign. No pressure. <laughs> if you want some inspiration on how to do so, don't hesitate to check out our reply rate and template review playlists, where we share tips on how to create amazing email campaigns on a weekly basis. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned with all of our new content. I hope this video helped you. If you have any feedback, we would love to hear it in the comments. In the meantime, Stay amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.